The law of attraction is always working. You are constantly manifesting things into your life, whether you are aware of them or not. Hello, and welcome back to another video. This is your guardian, Angie. Excuse the chickens, please. Today I wanna to be sharing with you guys how to begin the manifestation process. Before I get into it, I want to let everyone know the law of attraction is always working. You are constantly manifesting things into your life, whether you are aware of them or not. So that's gonna bring me to number one, and that is to focus. Because the law of attraction is always working, because you are constantly manifesting things, you need to become aware of where you're focusing your attention on. If you're constantly thinking about the past, thinking about bad things, regrets, past relationships, heated arguments, sorrows, then this is what you're going to be attracting into your life. If you're thinking too ahead of the future, which is bringing you anxiety, making you lose sleep, this is going to attract more of it. Everything and anything that you have in your life right now or have going on in your life is a result of the things that you have thought, the things that you have spoken into your reality and the things that you have done. The simple solution to this is whatever you want to manifest in your life, whatever you want to attract into your life, you must think. If you want to attract health, you need to think health. You can't expect health if you wake up in the morning and you're suddenly craving uh, an Egg McMuffin. You need to wake up thinking, today I'm going to eat healthy. Squeeze you some fresh orange juice, make a smoothie, have some oatmeal with fresh fruit at the top. If you wanna attract more money, then keep thinking about money. Keep thinking about ways to make money. Keep imagining what you would do and how you would feel with this money. If you wanna attract good friends, then think about how you can be a good friend to someone else and then do just that. What do you find yourself thinking most of? Before I started really digging deep into my manifestations, I would always be thinking about a lot of people. I would be thinking about my family, I'd be thinking about my friends, about past lovers. To be real with you guys, just about things that weren't really good. So this was attracting more things that weren't good into my life. What do you find yourself thinking first thing in the morning? As most of you know, I make it a habit to say thank you in the morning. With this, I am thinking and I'm feeling grateful, gratitude, the very first thing I do in the day. And this literally brings me more things to be grateful for throughout my day. A lot of people go straight onto their phone in the morning. This is the tone that you're setting for the day, that you're gonna lay down and do nothing, that you're gonna focus on other people's lives, that you're gonna suppress your emotions and just dreadfully scroll all day long. The first 20 minutes of your day are the most important ones. This is what's gonna set the tone for your day. Now everyone's always asking me, I can't focus on the things that I want. I just end up thinking about other things. Meditation, my loves, meditation helps with this. Meditation helps you stay present. So when you are going about your day, you suddenly realize that you're thinking about something that you shouldn't be thinking of that's not serving you in a positive way, you switch your thoughts. I have a journal which I pretty much read from every single day and I write in every single day and even if that day I don't feel a hundred percent great I will write down the things that I am grateful for I will write down positive affirmations I am strong I am healthy I am abundant I am grateful I am prosperous I am rich and this just helps me feel that way remember that words are vibration they are energy so the things that you're speaking into existence is what's gonna appear in front of you and another thing what do you feel this is number two you guys Focus on how you're feeling. Because a lot of us are so used to going on social media or eating our emotions away or smoking our emotions away, suppressing and numbing our emotions, a lot of us are not aware of how we are feeling. How are you genuinely feeling? A lot of the times people are gonna ask us, hey, how are you? I'm good. But are you really good? We have to become real with ourselves and what we feel. Nobody in this world feels good all the damn time. Don't let anyone fool you. Everybody has emotions. Everyone feels good and bad. There's nothing wrong with feeling bad. It's normal. It's being able to let go of this emotion. It's being able to feel bad, accepting this emotion as your own, but then letting it go. One of the main tips that I can give for you guys to really understand how you're feeling is to be alone. And when I say alone, I don't mean just you and your phone. I don't mean you and a television. I mean complete solitude. I've noticed that a lot of people can't even go to sleep without checking their phones, without having the TV on. Truly being alone is what brings out everything because it's just you and you. You have to face yourself and the things that you've been running away from. So in this case, distractions is key. Remove all distractions and don't be afraid to be alone. It's just you. It's just you and your emotions and your feelings, the ones that you have left unchecked. You need to con- 
you need to constantly be checking in on yourselves because sometimes we forget. Sometimes we go on about our days. If you're someone like me, you're constantly helping other people and doing work outside, but always make sure you make time to do work within yourself, to check how you are feeling and to fix these emotions, to face them and then to release them into the wind very gently. There's many times where you can be alone. You could be alone in your car, turn off your radio, put your phone down, just be alone. Focus on your thoughts. A lot of us can drive on autopilot, so this is a good time to really just focus on what you're thinking and what you're feeling. For the most part, a lot of us wake up and go to sleep alone. This is perfect alone time. Just don't pull out your phone. Don't turn on the TV. Shit, even when you're in the bathroom, a lot of us are alone in the bathroom. Unless you're a mom, of course, you know how that goes. Find time to figure out how you feel. Don't run away from your emotions. And learn how to start thinking about things that make you feel good. Start doing things that make you feel good. Start saying things that make you feel good. If telling people that they're amazing and that they're beautiful makes you feel good, do it. If cooking, playing outside, playing dominoes, playing baseball, going for a walk in the park, if that's what makes you happy, do it. If thinking about a good memory or a person makes you feel good, do it. Focus on the things that make you feel good and you will be attracting things that make you feel good. So the third one is going to go like this. In order for the law of attraction to work, you need to be in movement. Nothing's gonna happen to you if you're just sitting on your ass. So number three is to make mistakes and fail. Did you guys know that making mistakes and failing in life is the best kind of education anyone can get? Apart from traveling, of course. Do you know what making mistakes and failings means? It means that you're trying. It means that you're doing it. No one gets it right the first time. In this society, I have no idea why it's a bad thing or why it's feared to fail and make mistakes. My hypothesis is, is that we are afraid of how others are gonna see us if they see us fail. Let me tell you guys just this. If you feel like the people around you are gonna judge you, make fun of you, or laugh at you because you've made a mistake or you failed, these are not your friends get them out of your life. It's okay to make mistakes and to fail. This is how we learn. A lot of the times, no matter what you do in life, whether it's when you were walking as a baby, learning how to play a sport, learning how to play an instrument, learning how to cook, learning how to properly massage people, learning how to style hair, no matter what it was, you had to do it at least once. And typically a lot of us fail. There are some gifted people out there who get it on their first try, kudos to you, but a lot of us have to fail and make mistakes in order to do it. The point is to try. They say that you need at least 10,000 hours to master anything that you want to be good at. That's a year in case you wanted to do the math. So if you're trying to make money, do something that you like. Do it every single day and watch the money come pouring in with the proper mindset, of course. And just as a disclaimer, you guys, everything I just mentioned today takes practice as well. Yes, you're gonna have bad thoughts. Yes, you're gonna neglect your feelings and your emotions. Yes, you're gonna be afraid to fail and make mistakes. But the point is to keep trying every single day. There's no such thing as failure, you guys, only as quitting. If you quit, then you have failed. But if you're constantly trying, you're progressing. But these things take practice. Oprah Winfrey is a powerful manifester. She is someone who can manifest like that. Me personally, it's taken me months to manifest the things that I currently have right now, but because I have them, because I've witnessed that this is real and true, it's something that I focus my attention more on. It's the reason why I'm constantly working on myself every single day, because I understand how powerful our thoughts are and our words and our actions. So what are you waiting for, guys? Start today, live your dreams today. Give yourself the attention, the love, and the things that you deserve. If you have your back, the universe has got your back. All right, lovelies, that is it for this video. I hope you guys have learned something. I hope you're all manifesting out there. I hope this is a reminder to anyone who need it to focus, feel, and always keep trying, no matter how many times you fall. If you guys are new to this channel, welcome. I am your guardian, Angie. I make videos in hopes that my experiences in life will help you guys throughout your journey. So comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.